Um, I'd now like to turn to the chair of IFAR, Dai Arbuthnot, to uh, welcome you all. Thank you, Dai. Thank you, David. Uh, I was very fortunate enough last month to be in Paris for the Olympics, and in particular in Versailles, watching the three-day eventing. Now, apart from obviously, I'm delighted that the UK won gold, and they did brilliantly. And actually, obviously mentioning Tom McEwen, one of our gold medalists, who started on a racehorse when he was 19, at four-star level, which is pretty good, and that put him on the road. So, and also to Laura Collett, who did remarkably well and started on thoroughbreds to her mentor, Yogi Breisner, and she now helps racing trainers around in the UK, schooling their horses. So that's the sort of connection here. But the reason, and I suppose my memorable moment was watching the Japanese team in the medal ceremony. Now, they were in fifth. They'd done jolly well. They lost one of their, or one of their members of the team. His horse didn't pass the final phase, so they had to bring in a reserve. So there was a lot of pressure on them, and they show jumped brilliantly and won the bronze. And when they came in to get the medals, they were all, the, the mat, there was one on, on his feet, one of the riders on his feet, running around, whooping and cheering, waving his medal around. It was a fantastic spectacle. Now, Japan actually won a gold medal at LA in 1932. Now, could they win a medal in 2028? Possibly. So who knows? Um, OK, I mention all this because I think it shows Japan's commitment, not only to equestrian, but as we've seen this morning, their commitment to racing and aftercare. It was fantastic this morning. And I was watching some of the dressage. Now, one of my friends said he didn't think it was, you know, would, could it have been better? But I think it was brilliant, actually. Doing that standard for thoroughbreds is an achievement. It really is. And those two very professional riders on board did a fantastic job. But I suppose today, um, I want to also take this opportunity to thank the JRA and all their commitment to IFAR. We would not be here today without them. They've all been such an amazing team to work with and, and look at their support, look at their help, and they're, they're so keen to work with us all and put out the world to the world that we must do more and must work together in the future. Um, so when I think back on my time with IFAR, and it's been a huge privilege and an honor to chair IFAR in the last, for the last two terms, and uh, we started in the picturesque setting of Dallam Hall in Newmarket, sponsored by Godolphin. And that's how IFAR was formed. It was, a, it was a great day. There was a huge team of us. I was looking at the group photo the other day. And it's really come on a lot since then. You know, we should all be very proud of what IFAR's achieved in the last two terms. We're talking about the beginning when nobody had ever really taken any notice about aftercare. And suddenly now, you are all talking about it. You are here today. This has really got momentum going. So I want to also thank Godolphin for their huge support as well. And my steering group, of course. I can't forget the steering group. And I will be passing the chair on to Dr. Forbes. Couldn't be a better person. He's brilliant, actually. He will be marvelous in the role. And the team, the small steering group we have, Diana, uh, Jim, Jim and Andrew from US Jockey Club, Paul Kahn. I mean, it's a great group with wisdom, passion, actually, for the subject, because they were all doing it as part of their job might be, but basically they were all passionate about moving this forward. So a huge thank you to them. Um, moving forward. Now, we've touched on it today, but actually the equestrian world 
and racing must work together. We must pull ourselves together, learn from each other, support these fantastic horses, these thoroughbreds, in a life after racing. And I'm sure with the challenges we have ahead of us, and we have, we've only got to looking at recent press to know we have challenges. And the way we can get over those challenges is, is to work together, show a united front, and show that these horses matter to us all. Um, I think really that's all, except again to thank Mr Yoshida and his leadership and bringing the JR team, who have been fantastic all the way through. And thank you so much for today and what you've produced today. And also, all of you for coming. And I hope you enjoy the programme. Di, thanks very much indeed.